All right, sorry guys, that took a while to get ready. All right, so now we're gonna be finding the arc length. Just this time we're gonna be doing it when our angle is in radians instead of degrees. So let's get going. All right, so let's go back to the present to do a quick recap about what I taught you about arc length when we're in radians. Okay, so again, arc length is a portion or a fraction of the circumference of a circle. So we're going to start with the circumference, okay, which when we're in radians, the arc length formula will not be an L. It's actually going to be an S for the side of the circle, I guess. Um, I don't really know why it's S, but I'm assuming it means side. But um, anyways, when we're in radians, arc length will be given to us with an S, so keep that in mind. So we're going to start with the circumference of a circle. That should say circumference, not area. The demon cat's got me. Ignore that for right now. Um, but anyway, so the circumference of a circle um, is 2 pi r, and then we're going to multiply it by the fraction of the circumference we're dealing with, which is theta over 2 pi. Okay, which again, theta is the measure of the arc, but this time it's in radians, so watch yourself. All right, and then we simplified this formula down. If you know there's, notice there's a 2 pi in the numerator and denominator, so those will cancel out. Bam. So then we're left with S equals R times theta. So that is our arc length for formula that we're going to be using. So let's get going. All right, so I'm going to write down my formula before I forget because I'm quite forgetful. All right, so we have S equals r times theta. All right, let's get going. So it says find the arc length, so we're solving for the arc length, of a circle whose arc measures one-fifth radians, which that's going to be our theta. That's our theta. All right, and whose radius is 30 inches, so that's our r. All right, so let's just substitute in these bad boys, then we'll be done so with the problem. Whoa, this marker is not working. Man, what happened to my marker? Seriously, is messed up. Well, I don't know, you guys. That's a brand new marker, so I apologize. Oh, let me get a different color to save that one. All right, that color looks gross. Ew. All right, so anyways, we're going to be replacing R and theta. Okay, so we're going to have S equals my radius, which is 30 inches, so 30 times theta, which is one-fifth. All right, which remember, since we have two fractions, which I can change 30 to be 30 over 1, uh, all we got to do is multiply straight across, and then we'll be done so. So 30 times 1 will give me a 30, and 1 times 5 will be 5. Okay, which 30 over 5 simplifies to be 6. Okay, so my arc length is 6 inches. And remember, you guys, since we only have one dimension, the radius is our only dimension we're working with, so we're not going to square to the first um, power since we have, only have one dimension. Okay, so our arc length is 6 inches. Fun times, right? 